This is my new favorite way to make content using AI and I'm gonna give you it for free. If you watched yesterday's video, I showed you how to do some decent keyword research and find some good keywords. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to take that keyword and turn it into a piece of content. So this was the keyword here, work jeans for men. As you can see, work jeans for men, this is using Ahrefs free keyword generator. I have not paid for anything. So the keyword here, we'll put that into the prompt in a second. And we're actually gonna be using Claude for this. So I've got the prompt here. We'll put this into a notepad. And basically all we have to do is fill in the missing pieces. So you can see here, it says enter your title here. So we'll put work jeans for men. And are there any other, yeah. I'm writing for website, so we'll write two men dot it. And that's pretty much all we need. So we'll head over to Claude and we'll do control V and we'll put that in. Okay, so that's the keyword inside. That's the business inside. Now we just need to see if there is anything else. So for products, we're using products. You can decide, you know, whatever works for your business, but we will be using a tool called sitemap to clipboard. So we'll go over to two men .it slash sitemap .xml and we'll open this up which is the products sitemap. If you don't know, on Shopify, they have their products and they have their product images. So we'll click here and we'll click process images and that will give me a download. Okay, so now we have the products. So if I just go on downloads, I'll just show you what that looks like. So we'll go on file explorer, downloads, double click this. You'll see this has a list of all of the products. So we'll do control A, control C and then we'll paste this in here. And then that's, guys, honestly, that's literally it. This is all I'm doing to write content. You need to get the products, contextualize them, put the keyword, use this big prompt, and then just press go. And you'll see in a second, Claude will start to write. Now, at the same time, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna give ChatGPT a chance as well, a chance at glory so we can compare the uh, difference between ChatGPT and Claude. Uh, we'll attach here, instead of doing the paste thing, we'll just attach the file like that. Claude has not even started writing yet, so let's see if ChatGPT can finish before Claude has even started. Now, the quality of Claude is better though, uh, normally, so yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens here. This is still not started, which is very slow. The really good thing about ChatGPT and especially the new uh, model is that it's very, very quick, as you can see here. Perfect. Now, one thing it doesn't do very well is uh, take things not literally. So ChatGPT has taken that very, very literally, that that is the title. And now it's talking about sweaters. I definitely did not ask it to talk about sweaters. Okay, perfect, thank you, Claude. You are, you are the boss. So you can see Claude kind of understands things a little bit better. Like nobody writes an article called Work Jeans for Men, okay? I know that I've said the title here is Work Jeans for Men. Any LLM worth its salt will read that, understand that that's not a very good title and give it a proper title. Instead, ChatGPT just decides, I'm just gonna write you a, a, an article anyway basically. Now this article is totally fine. It would serve, it would probably rank on Google. So we'll just take this over to Markdown's HTML. Um, this is how I view articles and make sure they're correct. Uh, and then you want to check links because uh, ChatGPT and Claude both invent a lot of links. Okay, so this would work. This is fine. It, you know, the content's not bad. Um, it's just, I don't know why it's talking about sweaters and sneakers and things. I guess it's not the end of the world but I am trying to write a best work jeans for men and it's not just talking about jeans, okay? Claude, on the other hand, I'm gonna absolutely guarantee that this has done a much better job. We'll just type continue here, uh, but we will let that finish, but I just want to um, copy this if I can. No, I can't, I will have to wait for it to finish. Okay, let's see if we can just uh, cheat a little bit.
Okay, so I just want to see um, how this content is looking. So we'll have a quick look here. Control A, Control V. Let's get rid of this bit at the top. And then let's scroll down. Okay, so yeah, it, it's not actually giving me the content just yet. There we go, right. Okay. I'm sorry for being impatient, Mr. Claude. So let's see just how much better the final product is here. Well, I'm assuming it's better. I don't actually know yet. Okay, so in order to see kind of this in its full glory, let's go, uh, wait, let's just get rid of the bit at the top. And we'll go to W3 Try Editor without going on Google. Control A, Control V, run. Finding the perfect pair of work jeans. Okay, we have jeans, 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 jeans. Okay, so this is something that does happen, guys. Um, so just be careful. Sometimes it invents images. If it does invent an image, you can very, very easily just right click this and just edit out, edit it out. So if I click here, okay, so I actually have the link here. All you would do is find where it says Kiton Gray. Okay, jeans for every body type, there it is. Okay, and then you'd find this image and just change out the link, basically, it's that simple. So this is the link that's broken. Control V, run, and you'll see if I scroll down now that that image is now working. It's that simple, guys. And you can see the content on Claude is significantly better than the content on uh, ChatGPT, as expected. So the final thing we'll do is just so we have, it's just so you know, uh, we'll check how long this content is. And yeah, I, I honestly, you, sh you should be editing your content anyway. So you should always be checking your content anyway. There we go. Tools, word count, 2,372 words. It's way too much for me personally. I don't like that amount of words, but it is what it is. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you're watching all the way to the end, you're an absolute legend, and I'll see you soon with some more content. Peace out. Hey, you, subscribe.